In today's video, guys, we're going to be recovering data from the SanDisk Cruiser Glide 128 gig unit. It's a very common device that we see here at the lab. Let's uh, see what uh, SanDisk came up with this time for us. Cut through, you can easily separate the pieces so they come apart. Wow, this is um, this has some some intricate NAND on there, which looks like something that made its way from a, an iPhone <laughs> of some sort. I'll post a link in in the card here for a video where the tools are being made out of this these flash drives that I can later on simplify my workflow when it comes down to um, SanDisk specific devices. But uh, as the time went by, it started to get less and less of them. Let's see what's going on here. So it's unlikely to be a problem related to the connector. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, the, the connector is pretty well intact. Although I was kind of hoping that that's gonna be the case. If it's a 128 gig, 28 gig unit and it has a problem, this, oh, this is a 256. It's a refarb. Yeah, I see. So this indicator here, 256G, means the the capacity, physical capacity of this chip it was at one point um, 256 gigabytes. And what we see on the label, it's 128. So that's a downgrade device. What do we have here? Let's test the board and see what happens. Power on and power off button. Let's power it down, connect it and see if it consumes anything or whatnot. Seems like it's consuming what it needs to. What's the deal then? So now you can take the DeepSpar USB stabilizer, plug that in there. Hook this bad boy up. Well, seems like it loads up and we get the ID for it. Um, let's see how it's going to respond to reading. All right, so this uh, actually happens to be one of those cases where it wasn't overly abused so that it's still, even with struggle, it can still communicate and produce data. The reason why I wanted to showcase this specific scenario, guys, is that bad sectors can actually be very, very serious problem. This device would not get recognized or go past recognition process or, or initialization process on a regular computer when it's plugged in. The moment it gets plugged in, it actively starts to look for the file system records, which are located at the beginning, as that's where you saw all these black squares come up. The moment this USB device encounters one of these squares, the computer freezes up. And that's what was happening with my client's scenario. So we plug it in and it would not go beyond that point. The way that algorithms in data extractor are set up is when they come across these bad sectors, they can send a reset command, they can send a repower command. And instead of starting from the beginning, as you would have by having un to unplug it and plug it back in into a regular computer if you were using software with it to extract data, the map that we capture does not have to come back to already captured green portions of the uh, content. So after hitting a bad block, it simply takes an approach to the next sector in the sequence. And if that sector is read fine, it carries on with the imaging process. This repowering sequence can take place 
many times. In some cases, it will take tens, if not hundreds of thousands of these repowers until the process is done. As a matter of fact, I just finished working on the case two days ago. It was a solid state drive that had 23 gigabytes of information that needed to be captured that took me over a month to restore. That's how slow it was moving. That's how frequent the power outs and repowers were happening on this device, slowing down the imaging process. Having a tool as powerful as Data Extractor for disk imaging is essential for data recovery. This is why I wanted to demonstrate this case. And sometimes that's all you're gonna need is powerful imaging equipment to get case recovered. As you can see on the screen right now, uh, that's a regular situation for device with bad sectors. When uh, bad sectors like that uh, occur on your device, you will no longer have access to uh, your uh, data. You won't be able to copy it out properly because every time it would hit one of those bad sectors, it would drop power out and next time you plug it in, it has to start from scratch. It's not going to pick up where it was left. Uh, in our case, we see that this unit has uh, over 80 gigs of data and the best uh, possible option for it right now is to have everything cloned. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if we get lucky, we may be able to read some of those bad sectors out. As you can see, not all uh, areas have uh, defects, but those that do have defects, they obviously are going to take longer to process uh, information from, but those that don't, um, respond very quickly. Now, the reason why you see the uh, map um, showing different colors like green, yellow, red, and, and black, um, black sectors are the ones that read with errors. So uh, anything that isn't green, like what you're seeing on the screen right now, isn't read uh, correctly. Either it's the timeout, or either it's some sort of error that came up. So. Uh, when the imaging runs its course and it's done, what we will do ne next is build a map of these unread blocks and have them put through a series of passes again. Sometimes these passes consist of, you know, five to ten. Sometimes there are over hundreds, depending on how the device responds. In some cases where it's not responding at all, obviously even a hundred uh, passes is not going to do anything to it. But in some cases, it's going to start responding fairly quickly. And uh, in, in that situation, uh, the image is going to be getting cleaner and cleaner on every pass. If we look at the map after imaging this entire use space, things are actually looking quite, quite good. We have, uh, what, uh, 96 bad sectors, 18 chains affected. And uh, if we go into a use space, this is the total amount of use space that was provided to us at the beginning. If we build a map and exclude all of the green sectors out of here, this is what we end up with, 96 sectors. Now, we can try and see if we can still read those by going into several passes. I'm gonna create, let's say, thousand passes and uh, see how it does so just for sake of uh, cutting this shorter um, I'm gonna stop this for now and when we go back to the results you see some of these black areas clear and turn green all right so we can uh, carry on reading them and hopefully at some point, they will all get read out. But at this point, I can consider the case as finished successfully, and it's time to reach the client and tell them the good news.